Welcome back to the Kentucky Opera Center, giving you a preview of the upcoming production of La Boheme, and we are stepping into the costume department here to see what it takes to kind of create these gorgeous costumes for this production. Joined once again by Barbara Lynn Jamison, the general director and CEO of the Kentucky Opera. I am fascinated with this whole department, right? It's just so cool, Barbara, to walk down from the rehearsal space, mm -hmm. and you must love this too, and then step into right in this here. world, yeah. and it's like a world in here. Yeah, it is a world, and the beautiful thing thing about this department is the costumes are typically one of the first things you see about our characters. Yeah. So you get to see our characters through the eyes of the costumes. So they, they're very important to a show. Uh -huh. And we get to build costumes here. We tailor costumes here. We, we have a whole department of folks working here. Mm. And, uh, and there's a lot of shoes. And a lot of shoes <laughs> and so belts. So many shoes yeah. and belts. I've never seen so many yeah. shoes and belts in my we life. We have to have something for every period, every size. Yeah. Some guy comes in with a size 13. We have to put shoes on him. Somebody with a size too, we have to find shoes for them too. So we've got all kinds of stock You're ready. here. And I mean, talk about like the costume and the look for La Boheme, like mm -hmm. what goes in, what is that look? Yeah, well we are, we're, this show is placed in the mid 1800s. So we've got, we've got hats for the women and mm. top hats for the men. And we're really, we're, we really are trying to place this um, in a familiar eight, uh, 1800s Paris location. So those costumes matter in their, their period and, and they're, they're built to look period. Right and built to fit every every single one of our um, our singers comes in and gets their fittings and we make sure it fits them just perfectly and the hem is just right. We've got a whole great crew of people doing that. And during a performance, they could have to change several times. That's right. <sighs> if, if you have to change clothes, trying to get into in and out of all this and sometimes less than a minute, it requires uh, folks backstage to help them. What get is their, it like backstage it when is that happens? Crazy. <laughs> it, is, it is sometimes, it can be very nuts. We call it quick change. Yeah. And there's like a timer going down and you're really trying to get your boots on. You might have to change your makeup. Oh you may have goodness. to change your wig or your hair in a new costume, and you've got maybe two or three folks helping you do that. So um, it's, it's, it gets, it, they, and then they come back looking very peaceful. But backstage, <laughs> it's crazy. there's been mayhem. Because I mean, these, the, the costumes are complicated. There's lots of buttons, there's lots of accessories, there's lots of pieces to yeah. it. Yeah, well, we actually often rig them. They might oh, really? look like they have a lot of buttons, oh. but we don't have time to do all those little loopy Some loops. serious 19th century Velcro so, going on, right? These, yeah. <laughs> These brilliant minds here are rigging costumes. Uh -huh. We might need to hide a prop somewhere, so sometimes they build a pocket in where you can't see one, so that they can appear with a prop. Mm. There are all these little, these little fun little, little tricks. Sneak, sneak, yeah, sneak tricks. Opera that we hacks. Do. You need a whole YouTube page. Theater, on opera. theater. theater hacks. Yeah, <laughs> Love exactly that. right. Exactly. You know, just when you describe that, I think it just makes me aware, and maybe audiences to learn more about all the people that come together for this team, mm -hmm. right? To put on these beautiful productions. That it just, it, it's just an incredible group of people. Yeah, we, we see a few people on the stage. We mm -hmm. know there are some folks in the pit. We don't realize how many people there were involved in building the set, rigging the set, um, running the lights, building the costumes and then even just running the costumes yeah. during the, ca the case of the show. So it's a, it's a, it's a whole lot of people. When you look at the cinema, when you go to a movie and you see all those, all those all names those credits, afterwards, they matter. we do almost that many, you know, we have almost, almost that many in the opera as well. So here we are, what opening night is next Friday, uh, uh, the 22nd, the 22nd. So what 23rd, should, sorry. 23rd, sorry. Yeah. We're going to get it right. Sorry about that. Everybody's like, <laughs> <laughs> uh, get it right. uh, what, what should we be happening with the costumes right now as we kind of get close to the finish line of that? Yeah, well, they're doing night. final fit. Um, they're making sure that they have all the pieces that they need. They're they're checking in with the stage director to make sure that they have all the pockets they need, or the, the places to hide the things they need, and they're just doing those final touches and getting ready. And then we'll be moving them over to the theater. Even at the theater, though, we, we do a dress rehearsal. Dress rehearsal means you're dressing, so they might see something on the stage and they go, actually, that doesn't work. Take it back. Mm. They fix it. So there's a lot of back and forth even during that last week on, on those final changes and fixes to a hem, to a to a a, even a color of something. And it's just something about when you see that costume on the stage and you hear that song, it just all comes together. It, does. it just, it matters like so much. It does. We think of opera sometimes, a lot of people think of it as just music, but without all of this not. telling that story, all it is is music, theater, uh, all these visuals, it's its a whole world in itself. And it's its one that just has to be experienced to really mm -hmm. be understood. Exactly. All right, we're going to step back into the rehearsal space coming up. But if you would like to find out more information and get your tickets to the upcoming five performances of La Boheme, just go to kyopera.org.